Hey, what's up dudes? Ruler Robin here, and if you haven't heard already, a game called Apex Legends has just come out. Now if you don't know what Apex Legends is, it is a first person shooter battle royale in which players get to choose different characters called Legends, and they are equipped with different abilities ranging from their passive, their basic, and their ultimates. Now I know why you're here, and it's to answer what is Apex Legends, and is it actually a good game? So let's get right into it! Shooting is the core of a first person shooter which means that the gunplay has to feel responsive. If it doesn't feel good, whether it's complicated or otherwise, the core gameplay loop will feel very unsatisfying. In Apex Legends, for me the shooting is very reminiscent of Call of Duty, as the guns in Apex Legends don't have a huge amount of recoil, but they do have a kick, allowing them to feel like you're shooting something more powerful instead of just a pea shooter. Another reason for the guns feeling satisfying is what happens when you land your shot. Like in Call of Duty, it has a hit marker. Like in Fortnite, it has damage numbers. And similarly, it has sound when you hit someone. The sound is easily differentiated when you hit shield and flesh, because the shield sound metallic. Whilst with the flesh, you are able to hear a more organic sound as well as to see blood splatter when you land a shot. And if that wasn't enough, there's a metallic breaking sound when the shield is broken, as well as the player is shining red, or you could say bleeding, when the shield is broken. If you hit a headshot, the flesh sound is enhanced, and the color of the number is changed to yellow, which is honestly really satisfying, as it feels like you're hitting a critical hit. The next area of the game would be abilities. The first is your passive ability. This is always on. For example, Lifeline is able to revive allies faster and she puts up a shield while doing so. Gibraltar is able to put up a shield when he shoots, and Bangalore is able to run faster while taking fire. The next abilities are tactical or basic ability. For Lifeline, this is to be able to put down a robot that heals your HP. For Gibraltar, you put down a shield dome, or for Bangalore, you smoke off an area. And your final ability is your ultimate. This for lifeline would be dropping a care package which carries loot. You can change the battlefield into an artillery ridden area like Gibraltar. or create a portal from one location to another with Wraith. These abilities, though quite simple, are pretty useful and can add a second layer of strategy into the game. And for those of you who are worried about a battle of attrition, this gives more options for outplay to be able to break that stalemate. These abilities can influence your playstyle and how your squad operates through where you move and how you fight. Speaking of movement, the movement in this game feels really fluid. You're able to run, slide, and vault in this game, which keeps the movement refreshing instead of just holding shift and running everywhere. You can use momentum by sliding down hills and travel a lot faster, or wall climb and vault to a place where you can see more or just get more height to be able to slide faster. All in all, the movement is quite nice and is able to get the player around the map very, very quickly. Now the map. The map is honestly quite alright. Each place can be differentiated quite easily, and areas are quite distinguishable from each other with different landmarks and landscapes. The map is also very easy to get around due to the movement aspects of the game, as well as the zip lines found across the map, which allow the player to move across large amounts of land very quickly. Some zip lines also go up to a balloon, which launches the player and gives them the ability to glide for a short period of time covering large distances. Now with all this movement, I am unable to tell if the map is small or players can move around really fast, which to me is honestly good because that way the map doesn't feel like it's too large that I am unable to find anyone or too small that I am constantly getting into firefights. 
Now you may have noticed in the bottom left of the video, I'm usually in a 3 man squad unless I'm in training mode, and this is because it is a 3 player only game, there's no solo or duo, which I understand due to the class system. However, you may have some gripes about this due to communication, and while yes I know some players may be bad in general, but on an average day with an average squad of randoms, communication is still key. What Respawn has done in Apex Legends is a godsend in the BR community. This is because the system they use allows for players to have several options very quickly on what type of ping they want to use, whether it be ping for enemies, items, or even if you need something like ammo. You can even customize it to be able to use different keybinds for different pings, which makes communicating very easy in a squad of randoms without having to use a microphone. One last thing to add that is a personal favorite of mine, barring the ping mechanic, is the respawn mechanic. This is through respawn points found around the map, so even if you get killed, you're able to join back with your squad. This is very fair, because when you respawn, you do not have any items, effectively punishing you for dying, but rewarding your team for rescuing you by giving them an extra player back. However, we will have to wait and see if this is a truly fair system as it is very new in regards to the BR genre and may need tweaks or changes as time goes on. And I will probably make a video on the respawn mechanic with one of my friends who I recently had a discussion about it with, so keep a lookout for that. Hold up. You may have thought I've forgotten this was made by EA, but if you are worried about EA and making the game pay to win, the items are completely cosmetic and they do look pretty good. So at least for now, I don't think you have to worry about that aspect of the game, but I might make a video on how Apex Packs work, so keep a lookout on that one. Overall, Apex Legends is a game that borrows concepts from several different areas and uses them very well together. It is quite refreshing, it has satisfying gunplay, reasonably paced gameplay, the abilities add another layer of strategy to play around with, and the cash shop is very reasonable. All in all, I really recommend you try it. After all, it is a free game, so why not? Special thanks to Lord Smiley for helping me edit the script and the people that came to help me record abilities. If you want to hang out, come check out the stream and Discord if you want to try and find people to play with. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.